Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing something I have never ever done and that is 3D printing jewelry and other bits and bobs. So in the beginning of this video I'm going to show you how I put this machine together just to give you an idea of what needs to be done and then we're going to start 3D printing and then we're going to make some jewelry. I would also like to say a big thank you to Longa who sent me this printer to try and I hope you enjoy watching this video and I will see you later. Okay, let me just mention, I know it looks like I'm doing a lot here, but it was really easy to assemble. I just watched two videos on YouTube prior to this and then followed the clear instructions on the leaflet. Once the machine was ready to be used, I simply inserted the mini SD card into the 3D printer and tried to print one of the preset files that were on the card. Because at that point I had no idea about the software or how to install it, nor did I have any of my files to print. And as you can see, my first ever 3D print was a fail and if I'm honest, I had a lot of these fails later on. At this point I decided to take the card out of the machine, pop it into the memory stick, into my computer and download Cura. There is a video with very clear instructions of what needs to be done to download and set up Cura. Once downloaded, oh, you might also want to download a software like Anarchiver to convert RAR files into STL files that can be opened and sliced by Cura. And by the way, you can get files from different websites for free or purchase them from, for example, Etsy. Just Google 3D printing files and a whole bunch of different options will come up. Now, before I carry on, I just wanted to mention a few settings that were important to me when I was printing my things. But I would definitely recommend watching this gentleman's videos on Cura, especially the ones for beginners. There is a lot to learn, but don't get discouraged. If I could do this, so can you. <laughs> the main settings I kept changing were layer height, infill density and build plate adhesion type. I did play with other settings too, but these were the most important in my case. And I will mention different settings throughout this video, but if you are unsure about any of this, you can literally choose from the default options and just test the basic settings first before moving on to more advanced ones. Next I started printing a small lioness head on a raft, which is the plate adhesion type. I really didn't need to do this since it was so small, but it was my first print and I didn't know. I think the layer height on this was 0.08 and 20% infill density. Basically, the lower the layer height, the smoother and higher quality the print. And because most of the things I printed were small, I kept the layer height at 0.08 for rings and the animal heads, for example, and at 0.1 or 0.12 for the little containers and so on. 
I think I only had it on 0.2 for the robot head, but the lower you get, the longer it takes to print. And same goes for the infill density percentage. But in this case, I went up to 40 or even 50% on the rings to make the ring bands more sturdy, otherwise they would break. And even for the small animal heads. And I think like 30% on the containers and the robot head was 20% infill. So the higher percentage of infill, the longer it takes to print. I have chosen no plate adhesion for this elephant head and many more other prints to be honest. It leaves the bottom surface really smooth because the filament is nicely melted on the bottom. But with bigger items, it's a pain to remove from the plate. I think you can get like special sprays for the plate or like little tools that help to remove the items from the plate. This raven ring printed pretty well. I was surprised it printed all the way up like this. But it did need a bit of a cleanup afterwards. I just used the scalpel and sandpaper to smooth it out. Yes, I got the world in my hand. I got the world in my hand. Yes, I got the world in my hand. Yes, I got the world in my hand. Here I'm printing the robot head, I mean Optimus Prime, <laughs> in different sizes. I still need to print the rest of the robot and then put it all together. Oh, and I tried to print the head even bigger with raft as the plate adhesion, but it messed up twice. Next time I need to set it up with support, but on that later. Next is this mom ring. And I also made it in this color on brim adhesion, which is a thin version of the raft, but it was just too thin this time and I broke the ring as I was trying to remove it from the plate. Here is my new filament. It's so cool. If I was printing something big, it would have like a rainbow effect, but I didn't. So I basically cut it into different colors because I wanted to use all of the colors. And here is a little demonstration on how to change the filament. I'm not gonna explain it, but it's pretty easy to do. You just need to wait for the right temperature and the screen will pretty much tell you what to do. And with new color in, I'm printing this cauldron with a screw on lid straight onto the plate and it was a challenge to remove. I really liked the way these looked and so I printed some more in different colors. Oh, there were two that got the handle on the lid broken and so I improvised because I didn't want to throw them away. I 
I tried to print this part of a handbag that had an overhanging bit on the top, but it completely messed up and so I had to learn about supports, otherwise I wouldn't be able to finish this cute bag. I found this video and I would encourage you to watch it too. I copied almost all of the support settings from the video apart from the layer height and printed it again. This time it worked amazingly well. It took a lot longer, but still it worked. Until I broke it, but I managed to glue it back afterwards. So here is how this little Chanel bag project went. I absolutely love this little bag. It could be used as a toy, like a doll's handbag or a keychain and the details are just beautiful. This is another little container and yes, it was difficult to remove. <laughs> so I printed these pink ones on a raft. But because the flat surface wasn't touching the glass and didn't melt, the surface ended up being a bit rough. So I added some embellishments and made it all pretty. Perhaps there are settings that could make a difference, but I don't know them yet. Oh my gosh, look how shiny this bear's head is. This green and blue container was nice and smooth on the top and bottom and to make it even more interesting, I added the bear's head onto the lid. So in this next part, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of crafting and making some of my 3D prints into all kinds of jewelry. And I'm starting with UV resin and UV torch and other bits and bobs. I'm just gonna be quiet and let you enjoy the show.
right? I know I said I would be quiet, but look at these piglets! So cute! Anyway, I printed so many of these heart rings, at least 15 so far, but not all of them made it. As I said before, I ended up changing the infill settings on these to 40 and even 50%, which made them sturdy enough, yet it didn't take ages to print them. When they were printed on a raft, the hard top was bumpy and I had to sand it afterwards. But once I started printing these rings directly onto the plate, the very top was really smooth. Layer height was set to 0.08 for the best quality, but I never went lower than that. Most of the rings needed to be cleaned with the scalpel and then sanded, and I certainly had fun decorating them afterwards, mainly with UV resin and glitter because, well, because glitter is shiny. And if I had two-part epoxy, then I would definitely make some of the insides of the rings with opaque colors, but with the UV resin I couldn't. Also, I'm going to link the files I used in the description box below this video, as well as this longer LK5 3D printer. So go and check them out if you are interested. you enjoyed watching this video and you found it useful and possibly found some inspiration in it if you did then give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more videos on all sorts of stuff all right have a nice day bye